Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we we'll talk about the complete life cycle of funeraria. And we will be also able to understand the alternation of generations. We have separately seen the gametophyte as well as the sporophyte structure. Now exactly how the complete life cycle takes place. That is what we are trying to understand. When we start with the structure, we say that the predominant stage is the gametophyte. So this is the gametophyte and this gametophyte is haploid and it has two branches. Each branch was covered with that spirally arranged leaf-like structure. And say this is the male branch. And this one is the female branch. We have seen the detailed structure which is present on the head. So now if we draw this one, say we are not going to draw this in detail. So here what was there was, this antheridia was there, antheridia had this small stalk and inside this antheridium were present the cells which got differentiated into biflagellate sperms. So from here the biflagellate sperms are released, so they are, these are biflagellate sperms. And this structure which we see here is the antheridium. And this is on the male head. And we have seen that there are structures which are called the paraphyses, which are multicellular with the topmost cell sole. Now, if we talk about the female branch, here also we have seen the structure in detail. The swollen lower part which is called the ventre, then there is a stalk and the neck and inside is present one large egg. So this is the egg and it is present in the ventre. So this swollen structure was the ventre and here also we made those paraphyses and if you remember we made them multicellular but the tip or the terminal cell was not swollen. So here it was with swollen terminal cell whereas here it is not. So this is the female head with the female sex organ and this is the male head. Now the sperm is going to swim and for which it requires that thin layer of water. And it swims and reaches up to the egg. So here is this egg and up till this egg the male gamete has reached. Its path is lubricated by those canal cells which are here. So the sperm which is biflagellate is going to enter up to the egg. Now in the winter fertilization takes place. After fertilization, this egg now changes into the zygote. So after fertilization, we have a diploid zygote form. And this zygote is formed inside the winter. This zygote is going to develop into a sporophyte. So this divides by mitotic division and a slender stalk-like structure emerges. And here we had that, this was the seta, this much part which remains embedded is called the foot and this is the capsule. Now what happens inside the capsule is that, so if, if I draw the arrow here from here, what is going to happen is from the capsule, the spore mother cells, spore mother cells which are diploid, they undergo meiotic division. So here we can write that there is 
meiosis which is taking place and this results in the formation of haploid spores. Now, this spore is going to germinate. So, if this is the spore, it germinates into a thread-like filament. So, this is a filament which is going to develop. The filaments are of two types. Certain filaments which are going to remain on the surface and some filaments are going to go down. That means there are some rhizoid-like structures and then there are some filament-like structures. And on this, uh, this part is known as protonema. This is again an important thing. So protonema is the immature gametophyte. Now on this protonema arises a bud. And this bud grows. So after it grows, this is the thread. And we start seeing the rhizoids here and those leafy structures here. And this is what? Is going to change into this gametophyte. So this is how the complete life cycle is going to take place. This is haploid. The male head, female head, sex organs, all the structures are haploid. Gametes which are produced, they are haploid and they are produced by simple mitotic division. After fertilization, zygote is formed which is diploid and the complete sporophyte this is the sporophyte which is also diploid. The spore mother cells which are inside the capsule, they are also diploid. They undergo meiosis to produce the haploid spores which germinate to form protonema and again the gametophyte. So there is an alternating gametophyte sporophyte generation. Predominant is gametophytic generation. Sporophyte as it develops from the zygote, it is always going to grow on the female branch and it is dependent on the gametophyte because this is the place where it is attached to and it's going to obtain all its nourishment, water, everything from the gametophyte. So sporophyte is not independent in case of funeraria and it shows alternation of generation. Gametophytic stage is haploid, sporophytic stage is diploid. And the detailed structure of the male reproductive structures and the female one that we have already seen. So to sum up, this is how the complete life cycle in case of funeraria takes.